Hello there YouTube, Superbrain AK here again. Uh, I've been uh, messing around and I've got this uh, amplifier working. It's the left speaker there and right speaker over there. Got my uh, iPod here. It's not running I the Apple software right now. It's actually running uh, Rockbox. It's pretty awesome open source uh, f firmware. Um, I did do some modifications to it. That's pretty much everything is stock except for this. This is powering the fan, which it used to plug in down there. That old plug right there, and it used that big. That 5 watt resistor and that op amp down there, which would monitor the uh, power going to the subwoofer. And so it would turn on the fan according to that. But as you can see, I don't have the subwoofer connected, which is that three prong plug right there. Doesn't actually use all three prongs, but yeah. <laughs> So I fitted this little circuit board from uh, a ETX power supply. It's got one of the little automatic fan speed. It, this is the resistor that goes from the, it's supposed to be 12 volts, but this thing is only putting out nine where the fan, you, used to connect to. I just bypassed its circuitry down there. You can see oh, it looks like it's too dark. So yeah I bypassed that and just took put it straight to the power that it gets. And this uses two transistors there. This resistor, this big one here, just goes from the positive rail to the fan. And then that there's a smaller one that os that pretty much bypasses that resist that resistor to give it more current. Um, let's see, yeah, that's a little standby thing there in the circuit and the relay. Um, well, I got it turned on. You can see that resistor in there that's coming from the uh, stable 5 volts to its little enable pin. I did have to, uh, you see those two transistors there? That one on the bottom what had something to do with a, like, I don't know even what to call it, some hot wire protection, I guess which was uh, pulling down the base of the main trans transistor, the top one there, which powered that relay, which turns on the big transformer there. And so I unsoldered the collector to that second transistor. And so now it works fine without me having to do any other gobbledygook. To get it to work. Um, little bridge rectifier. Those are the two caps there. Here's the amplifier. And this thing is a 6.1 channel amplifier. I only have the left and the right. Oh, left, right. Speakers hooked up. So I've only got two channel input. So, yeah, we get a little standby LED just to show. It's pretty nice. Let's find a good song.
Sheesh. Where is it? Here we go. doesn't have the subwoofer connected and these are only uh, treble speakers so doesn't have as awesomeness as it what it could have but it's still pretty darn good So that's pretty cool. Um, I've also been, uh, since I had my hot glue gun out, I mean, oh yeah, to, uh, that's the little temperature sensor for that board, and I've used some old Elmer's glue there to hook it on. I'm still waiting for it to dry. That's why I've got that clip there. Um, I did try a hot glue, but this heat sink gets pretty hot and I don't want it making a pool all over the place, which is probably what it's going to do and then that thing is just going to fall off. So I hot glued my flyback just because I can and hopefully I'll be able to get my flyback driver working correctly. So, I guess that's it today, guys. Catch you later.